Are you trying to create an ongoing AA, AB, AC, and so on sequence in Excel, but you're struggling? If yes, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create the sequence in Excel using a formula. All right, so first I'll demonstrate exactly what we want to accomplish here. So in Excel, we can create a sequence of numbers and also an alphabetical sequence from A to Z, for example. And here's how it works. For example, if I enter A, the alphabet A in a certain cell, and then I drag it down, we'll get a sequence from A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. But let's drag this down and let's see what happens if we go past the alphabet Z. So once we get past Z, uh, the sequence is going to restart. It's going to go back to A again. And let's say we don't want that. Let's say we want the sequence to jump from Z to AA, as opposed to jumping from Z to A again and starting all over again. What do we do in that scenario? Now, luckily, there is a formula in Excel that will allow us just to do that in order to create an ongoing alphabetical sequence, which goes beyond the alphabet Z in Excel. And the formula for getting this sequence is currently on the screen. And you can use this formula and apply it in any cell in Excel and it will give you the exact same result. So in this uh, case, I'll uh, enter the formula in cell C2, for example, just as an example. So I will copy and paste the formula, which is available on the screen right now. And here's what we get. We got A in our first cell, which is C2. And I'm going to drag this all the way down. And as you can see, the sequence did not start back from A after we passed the last letter of the al alphabet, that is Z. It jumped into AA. And let's drag it even further down. As you can see, it's extending. So it's uh, getting incremented by one every time we drag it down. And it's not uh, going through a loop anymore like it did before. So, and if you drag the formula all the way down, doesn't matter how, how low we go, it's going to go ex get extended and we get the exact same sequence that we want to get. That is the AA, AB, AC, AD, etc., all the way to ZZ uh, and even beyond that using this formula. And this is how it's done. And it really doesn't matter where you apply this formula. You're free to apply it to any other cell as well. For example, you can apply it to this cell and this is where I can start it. And uh, for example, here and um, drag it down exact same results. And of course, after applying it, you can also, of course, copy and paste it and uh, transpose it and apply it to different ranges or different data sets in the future. For example, to do that, you first have to copy it as values. So if I copy this and paste it as value somewhere else, now we have the exact same uh, sequence in values, not in formulas. Now I can transpose this sequence. I can go copy and transpose it to a different range. And there you go, as easy as that. We have the same records, but they're in a row as opposed to in a column. So this could be very useful for reporting or other whatever purpose you need to use this for. And this is how it's done. Also, if you want to learn more about how this formula works, I've included more details about the formula and how the address and row formulas which are included within this formula work within Excel. So please refer to the description box of this video for more details on exactly how this formula functions and how its various components and arguments work and make this happen. So that's all in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found this useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos.